everyone. It's been a few months since I've been uh, able to do a bat review. Now what we've got here is a Bradbury and it's the first Bradbury I've ever reviewed and it's a special one because the owner actually went over to Western Australia and went into the shop and out to the back and requested a specific type of blade. Now his specifications were I want what you give to the players. I don't care about how long it's going to last. Uh, I'm not fussed with how it looks. I just want the type of bat you would give to the players. Spoke with Paul Bradbury and uh, Paul and him spent nearly an hour together uh, apparently. And Paul said, yeah, I can make you one of those. I think I've got the type of cleft. So what we have here is a bespoke bat specifically made for this player and specifically pressed like a player's bat. Now you can see there it says Bradbury Bespoke Pro 11. Nice stickers, not embossed or anything like that. Uh, really nice clean bit of willow. All right, you've got a pin knot there. Bit of unevenness, but clean piece of sapwood. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight grains. Bit uneven. Uh, an edge there that looks to be about 35, 36 and a mid, mid to low sweet spot. Um, you can see here that they've pretty much put the B symbol where the middle is, so maybe I should be saying that's a low sweet spot for driving. Um, fairly contoured through here. It's, it's sort of like a duck bill, I guess, yeah. Dips down, but it's got that distinctive Bradbury shape, which is a very nice handcrafted sort of looking bat. Comes up here, nice swell through this area here, uh, just above, or just below mid, and then it curves down, and there's still plenty of wood left down here, with really th nice thick shoulders, as you can see there. Bradbury sticker on the back, burnt in logo there. Is there a bow? There's a little bit of a bow down towards the bottom there, you can see. Now this bat... Basically, the um, owner thought that he'd do what I do and do that tap test where I basically tap it and let it go all the way down. Now, when he got to the toe, he's actually managed just to do on that gentle tap up some dents right there on the toe. And up here near the splice, showing how softly pressed this actually is around these areas but it's not actually softly pressed around here. I'm going to demonstrate that initially by uh, giving it the tap up and then bringing in another bat from a different bat, uh, manufacturer to show you the different. Starting from the bottom. So it's starting to good die there. There's nothing there. Starts there, really going on where that B is. It's got a lot down low and dead again there. So needs a fair knock in down here and probably some just rolling is probably what I'll do with it. So hear that sound? Alright, totally different quality of wood. And this bat is post knock. It's had one slight net where you can see a few things in it. And put that aside. See that pitch is slightly higher? that really coming off? Yes it is. So yeah. Now apparently um, sometimes with Bradbury bats, particularly the ones in shops, they actually do an extra press on them. They press them for durability. So you, I guess you think something like a Gunner Moore style press, much much harder. Whereas this one's definitely not that sort of press. Um, 
All in all, I think it's a lovely shape. Uh, plenty of wood down here on the shoulders to balance it. A nice manicured sort of middle here. I like this sort of shape that Bradbury does, um, where they take a little bit out, but still leave a fair bit right here in the in the swell where you're going to be hitting your shots. Now, as far as edge size, I think it was. I said about 36. I thought it was. Okay. So 37.6 roughly. Just under 38. Obviously the maximum you can do now is 40. And let's measure from that camber, which looks to be about a four and a half to even five mil camber. Uh, so it's actually a 69 mil spine. But the owner was basically he wasn't concerned about the uh, regulations he said just make me that style of bat didn't care what the regulations came in at so that's why it's a bespoke bat now in my hands with this thin uh, chevron grip dial is a semi oval uh, towards round sort of at the bottom hand and slightly semi oval at the top so that's the and the other thing that I want to show you is just how straight those grains are running through the toe so it's a lovely piece of willow, even though it's got uneven grains. That's the sort of thing a player looks at, is how straight are those grains running through, that sort of tone. He did ask for a little bit of chugu to be added. It looks like just a smear has been done. He's actually asked me to knock it, so i got a few weeks off of cricket, so I can tinker around with something in the garage when I've got time. The other thing they stamp in there is Master Batmakers, if you can see there. And let's look at these specs from the toe. So serious thickness at the toe there, looking at three centimetres in the centre, two and a half at the edge, about 18 at the shoulders. So she needs a bit of a, a knocking. Uh, Bradbury himself said I wouldn't bother, you know, because basically you've asked for a bat that um, you're not fussed whether or not it's going to last. So yeah, all in all, very impressed with the Bradbury. It's got a nice pickup. Um, I think, because I haven't been handling bats for a couple of months, my actual guesstimates have been way, way off. So I'm going to say this feels to me in the hands. I'm going to say this feels like a 210, 211. And that's what I would say. Um, but let's weigh it and see what it actually weighs. So it's 212.3, which is pretty good, considering it's got that really skinny chevron grip. There's no sort of gimmicks here with uh, big knobs on the end or, or extra thick, crazy hand handles. It's a regulation size handle, and it still picks up better than its actual weight. So it's a lot to do with the amount of wood that's left up here towards the hands and also to do with this little duckbill thing going on. Some people would argue that it's to do with a little bit of bow in the blade, but I think that's a preference thing. It's more if you really want to go over the top. So yeah, 212.3, uh, Pro 11 grade, whatever that is. And it's a very, very nice shape uh, by Bradbury. So we'll turn her around and we'll bounce a ball on it. So first of all, we'll start off with the old four-piece. It feels lovely. Hits. It's still got some wood there with that slightly curved face, so it will generally go the direction you want. Seam marks. There are some seam marks starting to develop already on the face. Now we're going to move to the Dukes, which hasn't seen the action for a couple of months, so let's see what happens. Jesus. 
Yeah, sounds nice. Sounds nice. Now, did I hit anywhere near the toe? Well, I didn't, but you can still see if I show you a few dents in the face now, but I don't think the camera is going to capture it at all. Yeah, so if I was at, like a general punter wanting a cricket bat, I don't think I would ask for this because I think it's going to be more trouble than it's worth. But if you don't have the budget and you don't really care how long it's going to last, so you will see a post. Okay, Bradbury, Pro 11, what he makes for the players, really nice bat. Thanks everybody for all your uh, support and um, well wishes over the past couple of months. Uh, really do appreciate it. I won't sort of specifically single people out, but um, yeah, it has been really welcomed and uh, I do thank you for that. So uh, a few bats coming in for review, but I just won't have the uh, amount of time to do what I used to. Anyway, Bradbury, there you go.